Millions of Americans, like Shirley Stott, suffer from peripheral artery disease, or PAD, and don't even know it. Only about 30% of people who have it show symptoms. Left untreated, this disease can result in gangrene of the feet and legs and, at worst, amputation. Dr. Maher Elder of the DMC's Cardiovascular Institute has treated more than 7,000 patients with PAD and is an expert in this disease. The lower extremity, in particular the legs, are very dependent, just like everything else in the body, on the blood supply. The blood supply is what carries oxygen to the tissues. If there's a compromise of this blood supply, such as a blockage or possibly a narrowing of the vessel, then this would cause a lack of blood supply. And it's just like a plant that gets water. And if you stop feeling, feeding it water, the plant withers away. The same thing would apply to the tissues of the legs. That's exactly what was happening to Shirley Stott. I was going up and down my daughter's stairs and I got to the bottom of the steps and my leg was hurting really bad. I mean, it looked like it was in the bone. And I, it, was so, it was real unbearable. And that's when I said I got to find something that's more than arthritis, right, something else wrong. And the difficulty that we have, as we did with Mrs. Stott, is that she saw other doctors and it was pretty much dismissed as hip pain and leg pain until uh, she was referred to me and we evaluated it, screened for it properly, and we picked up on the process of uh, peripheral arterial disease. Unfortunately, most of the time it's treated uh, with an amputation, and that's because this disease process is caught at the very end of the process where there's already damage to the tissue that's not reversible. If the blockage is in the hip area, the other common treatment is bypass, which requires open surgery with an incision in the leg, general anesthesia, and a three to four day hospital stay. But Dr. Elder and the team at the Cardiovascular Institute are leading the nation in a procedure that has patients going home without even a scar. Shirley Stott's iliac vessel was 100% blocked, which meant the blood flow to her right leg was severely compromised. But Dr. Elder was able to open the blockage and restore the flow of blood in less than 60 minutes. We fix it through a technique called percutaneous endovascular uh, revascularization. And so there's no cutting involved, there's no stitches, and through a basic IV line that you would get in the hospital, very same concept, just a little bit larger, we put an IV line, open up the blockage, uh, we stent the area that's occluded, and everything comes out, and the uh, very next day she goes home. There's little puncture wounds, like little puncture wounds on the east side of my groin area. I wasn't hurting, no, I didn't have any pain. Oh, I feel 100% better. Well, the most gratifying thing that we experience is that patients that have a cold foot, they have no pulse. And immediately after the procedure, we could feel a pulse, we could feel the foot that's warm. And when the patient goes up to the room and uh, they walk around, they go to the bathroom, they immediately feel the results. And I often get phone calls after the procedure from the patients just very uh, excited about uh, their new leg. For Dr. Elder, part of giving his patients their new leg is making sure they receive the best possible care while they're in the hospital. As an extra precaution, I will do these procedures in one day and I will spend the night in the hospital uh, with the patients. Uh, that's a huge advantage that we have at the medical center where since I am the operator and I'm a board certified interventional uh, cardiologist, uh, that I'm in house 24 hours a day. So if there's any problems, it's me that answers and it's me that's at bedside, which is uh, unparalleled uh, to any hospital in the country. So the majority of patients that are coming for this procedure, they will go home before I do. Risk factors for peripheral arterial disease include smoking, diabetes, high blood pressure, and having a family history of the disease. The majority of patients don't have symptoms. And so it's a, it's a, a good idea to be screened if you have any of the risk factors, uh, and especially if you have a sibling or a, a relative that does have peripheral arterial disease. The screening is a simple test that only takes about 15 minutes and can be done by healthcare professionals here at the DMC. To book your screening or to schedule an appointment with Dr. Maher Elder, go online to dmc.org or call 888-DMC-2500. I'm Emory King.